Only in the 19th century that oil's potential as a fuel was realised and people started drilling and refining it. One of the products of the refining was a volatile gas oil or petrol. The petrol was at first regarded as a completely useless byproduct. Its vapour was so dangerously inflammable. But it was also realised that it was an enormously potent source of energy. We can show you this with this modified firework mortar. This obviously isn't an experiment to do at home, but if Rex uh, puts a teaspoonful of gunpowder down the mortar and uh, using uh, the lager can as uh, the projectile, <laughs> oh dear, well, it, it's not very powerful. Um, well, now we're going to compare this with, the, uh, with a teaspoonful of petrol and see how far that goes. This time we're igniting it with a spark plug in the side. You can see what an enormous amount of energy there is in the petrol. Although it's hard to believe, this isn't actually an explosion. It's just a very rapid combustion, a very rapid fire. The early internal combustion engines were often called explosion engines, though, and I think it's really a much more appropriate name.